Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day three of the holiday card series for 2022. Today I'm going to be using the Peppermint Stripes Backdrop Die from Lawn Fawn, plus this stamp and die set from Pink Fresh. This is the Brushed Sentiments Holiday Set, and we'll get to all those products in a minute. First, I'm going to work on an ink blended background for my card. I'm planning to make this into a full card shaker. So I want to have a really colorful back wall for my shaker element. I'm using five different colors from Simus' stamp. I'm using lemonade, peachy, sweets, tropic, and it's this purple that I can't see. Orchid. There we go. And I'm just blending these on in sort of a rainbow circular fashion on my white cardstock. This is some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock, and it's cut to an A2 card size. So it is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm just blending each of, the, each of those on, trying to get a nice blend. I love these colors together. They're so beautiful. I wanted to do a very non-traditional holiday color palette. So this is what I came up with. For the front of my shaker, I'm going to use Pixie Dust Glitter Paper from Lawn Fawn. This is the most beautiful holographic glitter. I just thought it went really well with the colorful color palette that I've got going. So I ran that through my die cutting machine and I'm left with this nice peppermint stripe backdrop. So I'm going to turn this into a shaker, but before I do that, I wanted to make sure that the front of my shaker is the exact same size as the back wall. Turns out my cardstock was not cut perfectly, so I'm using a ruler and a craft knife just to even that up and make sure that everything is the right dimension. And I needed to do this before I put the shaker together because once there's foam tape and sequins involved, it would just get a little bit too complicated. I glued some acetate onto the back of my glitter piece and I just ran some glue along the outer border as well as all of those stripes. The glue I'm using today is from Honeybee. This is their precision glue and the acetate is from Simus' stamp. And I just cut the acetate to be slightly smaller than a card size so that it wouldn't peek out from underneath my uh, peppermint stripe backdrop. I'm going to put this under um, some acrylic blocks. I've got some really big acrylic blocks that I just set that under. And then I grabbed some foam tape. This foam tape is from Heffy Doodle. And it turns out some of the strips of foam are the exact width of the outside border of my shaker. So it was the perfect width for uh, the foam tape. In fact, the foam tape happened to be exactly five and a half inches long as well. So this went right along the edge of my shaker without any problem at all. And the foam is nice and thick, so I knew it I would have enough space inside the shaker for all my sequins to really move around. I went around the outer edge of my shaker and I cut off the excess for the strips that were a little bit too long. And I just made my way all the way around until I had the frame of the shaker put together. So now I'm going to grab some sequins to put on the inside. I'm using iridescent moonshine sequins. I use those. Oh gosh, when did I use those? It's been recent. I can't remember what video, but the, these sequins are so beautiful. They shine so many different colors and I thought it would be perfect to go with the glitter of the peppermint stripes and also that colorful background. So I'm taking the foam out of my mini misty and that leaves me with the corner to use. And I'm just going to press this down right onto that foam tape um, on my shaker and press down around the outer edge really, really well. I want to make sure this adheres all the way around so that it encapsulates all of those sequins. And then I can turn it over and see what the shaker looks like. And I turned it over and started shaking and suddenly all the sequins started coming out and I didn't understand why. That's never happened to me before. Um, I had removed all of the release paper on the foam. I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I decided to clean up all of these sequins that went everywhere and then 
use some glue on the foam tape. I thought maybe just with the slightly damp surface of my backdrop with the ink blending, and maybe that just was a little bit too much. And also when I turned that over and I saw the shaker, I decided I wanted more sequins. So this gave me the opportunity to add additional sequins on the inside. So I took that honeybee glue and I went around the foam and I wanted that glue right at the edge of the foam to make sure that um, it, it's glued all the way down. So I ran that around and then moved it into the corner of my Misty, picked up the back of my card. And this is actually the card front. So I, it's already on there and just press that down. Now I was very tempted to look at this shaker right away, but I decided to leave it face down and put it under some acrylic blocks, probably for about 10 minutes. And that seemed to do the trick. The glue had a chance to dry and it kept all those sequins nice, safe and sound inside. So pay no attention to the pink greeting. I will be changing that up, but I wanted to show this die set from Sunny Studio. And I cut all of the dies um, using some white cardstock. And then I brought my inks that I use for the background and I just colored the different elements that I wanted to use. So I used a little bit of that green for the leaves and some more purple for this skinnier stem. And then I used the pink for the berries. And I'll come back and adhere that in a minute. minute. For my greeting, I'm using the Brush Sentiments Holiday Set from Pink Fresh, and it's kind of cool because it has two really large groups of words, and uh, you can stamp all the words at the same time, and then you use a big die that cuts them all at the same time. Now, I only wanted two words, and unfortunately, they were in the two separate large groupings, so I had to stamp happy and then heat emboss that in silver embossing powder heat set that, and then I stamped the holidays in the other one. And thankfully the words were on the edges of these stamp groups. So I was able to stamp and heat emboss them just on separate pieces of cardstock. After I had them die cut out, I was left with the two words that I could place together on my card front. I used some foam tape and this unfortunately is some uh, discontinued foam tape, but it's some very thin strips of foam from Darius. And then I kind of intertwined those words and adhered first the word happy. And then I removed the foam tape backing on the back of holidays and slid that underneath and sort of nestled it in right up next to happy. After I had those adhered, then it was time to start adhering um, the little uh berries and leaves and stems going around the words. So I use a little bit of glue on the back of the leaves and also to the berries. And then this third berry, I actually popped up on a little foam square just so it would have a little bit of dimension. And I just used the plain berries as white and then put the pink on top. And that left a little white spot for the, for the glare on the berries. Then using this sentiment strip from Simon Says Stamp, and it was a little bit too long, it didn't look quite right, so I cut that in half so I could have two lines of text. So I put the first one down and then I brought over the second and I was able to slide that over just a little bit to the right and it kind of nestles up next to the Y on holidays. So I'm gonna do a little bit of sparkle glaze from Lawn Fawn on top of these berries, just for a little bit of detail. And then I'm going to call this card finished. This has all the sparkle in it. You've got glitter glue, you've got glitter paper, you have iridescent sequins, you've even got some shiny heat embossing. It has just about everything. This is a very, very happy holidays card. So that's day three for the holiday card series. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you check out all of the supplies that are listed down below in the video description. And on screen right now, you've got three videos. These are all day three videos from previous years of the holiday card series. So check those out. Take a walk down memory lane. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Friday for another live version. This is going to be day four of the holiday card series. See you on Friday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time.